Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the 17th iOS tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to connect two view controllers via a button. And also, we'll talk about the terminology Segway, storyboard Segway. And the specific type of this Segway is modal. So let's move on. Okay, if you remember from previous tutorial, we created the contact list. And right now, we want to add a button here. And when the user press on this button, a view from the bottom comes to the place and it has some fields. So that's all we want to do for this tutorial. So let's move on. Okay, here is our contact list project from previous tutorial. You can download it from hookstack.blogspot.com and find the tutorial number 16 and download this project. I didn't change anything except the names. Uh, I just changed the names. So if you look at the storyboard, we want some bar here to put our button plus button here. So we we'll look into the palette, or you can search and search for toolbar. And here is the toolbar. Let me zoom in the toolbar, and you drag it and drop it here. See, once you see the plus button, you drop it here. And then you can modify this item. In order to modify this item very precisely, just come here and press this button. This button. It's kind of like scene. If you look at this, is scene. And you can see what's going on here. And see, you have the view hierarchy. This is our view controller. And then we have a table view, and on table view we have a toolbar, the toolbar that we just added. And then inside of the toolbar we have a button. This is the button here, the item. And then we have a table view cell. We will talk about these two items, so don't worry about it. These are the views that we just created. So let's tap on this item and change the style. Uh, right now it's item, so we wanted some style for it. So let's go to the inspector, attribute inspector, and select identifier. And now we can select whatever we want. For example, if we want to have a done button, here's the done button. If we want to undo, undo. If we can have even a custom, we can write the name for it, for example, nothing. If I click over, it will be nothing. But since we want to have a add button, so we want a plus button. So this is how we create it. If we go back and then close this scene and then come back to the storyboard. And this time we want a new view controller. We want to show we want to add a contact. So we want a new controller. So we drag and drop a view controller to the storyboard. That's as simple as it is. And then let me align this view controller. I can just align it. It doesn't matter, it just uh, makes it a little bit nicer. Uh, I'm just trying to make a little bit space between these two controller. Then in order to say when the user clicks this button go to this view we have to control drag from this plus button to this controller. So hold down the control key and drag this key this to this view. it doesn't work. Why it doesn't work? Because we are not selecting the button. In order to precisely selecting the button you can do it from the scene. Just open the scene and then control drag from here to this controller and just release it. So one more time if you control drag from here because you're actually selecting the table view it doesn't do anything but if you click on the bar button item 
and then control drag from here you will see something actually is happening but the thing that we want here is a model we are talking we are going to talk about models so in from the drop down list that it says we select a model and then you'll see there is some an arrow here if you click on this arrow you'll see you can specify identifier and you'll see the style is model so let's go on and run the program and see what we get okay here is our application and here is our toolbar and this is our plus button we expect this plus button do something when you press it yes actually it adds the view but since our view is empty, it shows an empty view. So let's put some stuff inside of this view. First of all, we need the toolbar here again uh, to dismiss this view. Just for adding this toolbar, we do the same thing. We go to the palette and we add a toolbar. And again, this time we don't want the item here we want it with uh, done because once we are done we select done and I want done to be this side of the view I can just drag it and uh, it's better to put the flexible let's see where is the flexible okay here's a flexible space bar in the palette you just drag it and drop it inside of the tab bar okay it was as simple as it is if you just drag it it will put the done button here and then I want some label name here it is very simple I just drag and drop a label here and call it name and of course it needs a text field for user to input the name and make it a little bit wider and I can copy paste this for the number and see right here change the labor, label number and we have it here we also need a button here in order to add a contact when the user press that button we want to add this contact to our contact list so use the blue guideline in order to add your view elements so that's all we want to do for this tutorial just adding the new view we're not going to talk about the how we add it but just just a view and model in next tutorial I will talk how we can interact with this view and how we can uh, make this done button and this add button work. Let's run the program and see what is the result of these changes. And as you can see, this is our contact list plus button, and here are the view elements that we just added. Of course, done button and add button is not working. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to add the name and number to the list and also how to dismiss this view. And just play with the storyboard and the segue that we just created, drag and drop, and look for this scene that I talked about and view hierarchy. These are very important part of storyboard. So until next time.